Have you ever found yourself staring at the cover art of your favorite album while the music plays, getting completely lost in the vibe? I know I have. That feeling when the art and sound just click is magic. Well, guess what? I'm painting the album cover for the unaffected. I'm beyond excited this is a dream come true. Let's dive into the creative process together. You won't want to miss this. It feels great being back in the studio. I got some black and some white paint and I'm gonna mix up about five different grays so that I can go at this painting without having to overthink anything. My wife made me a sandwich and a protein bar. Found these Tupperwares at Target and I got me a new brush at Hobby Lobby. You gotta have your gloves when you get messy. Quick tip, vinyl gloves are way better than uh, latex gloves because they don't make your hands smell funny. <laughs> This painting is mostly going to be monochromatic, which means within the gray scale. Oh, look at him go. Oh, look at him go. And they're too full, but it feels good, you know? It's meditative. It does the same things to your brain as praying and meditating. Isn't this fun? setup we have almost a white we got a lighter gray we got a medium gray and almost black so later we can pop with whites and blacks we have a brush in each color and it allows us to just paint without fingers we can go fast and get in the zone now it's time to add some complementary colors that means colors that are opposite on the color wheel which causes them to pop and vibrate on your eyeballs this is the first painting in my brand new art studio and the atmosphere is perfect i've been drawing live figure models for months i had my first drawing class and the unaffected played it's a mayhem of memories and new energy this piece is four foot squared Pink and orange is one of my favorite colors. It's a cityscape, kind of like surreal, futuristic. A dystopian paradise. It's got airplanes and one of the guys in the band is a pilot. Look at what some of my students made. Why does this one look like Trump? I wanna leave a lot of this craziness in here, so it's time to come in and glaze with oil. I use these water-soluble oils. I can mix them down to glaze with linseed oil, and you can wash them out with water. So it's so convenient. I added some yellow to the highlights to give it that vintage photo look. Let's add some, a little bit of color to it. I like to do lots of fading in and out as I go along. That's why I left the ground white so that I could create these soft edges with the spray paint and the oil. Subtle glazes to create a glowing effect. The mixed mediums create tension between realism and abstraction, thick and translucent, fast and slow, chaos of consciousness. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more art and painting content. For more info, check out tie-ku.com.